Welcome to a tutorial on the installation of SST, Sandia's Structural Simulation Toolkit. Uh, I'm going to be using version 2.2.1 and we're going to be installing it on Cent OS 6.3 64-bit edition. To get started I've previously ran uh, the update and upgrade for CentOS to make sure I have all my current packages. Now what we're going to do is get started by Installing some packages. This includes GCC, the C++ compiler, OpenMPI, uh, LibTool, Make, and Python Devel. Right, so this is 51 megabytes of download. And we're gonna hopefully have a fast connection. Get this started up quickly. And then once we've got the M the MPI, we still need to make it available as a command. And so I'm gonna add that module to my bash rc file. Alright, packages are installed for SST and then we've, we're going to add a module called OpenMPI and then that's entered into our bash rc so that every time we open the bash shell it's available and then we're going to reload that command from bash so now we've refreshed the variables and as a check I can do mpi cc and that returns the expected uh, gcc complaint about no input alright so now we'll get started on the sst installation I'm going to make a few directories here so I'm in the home directory I make sst Within that directory, I make local and scratch, and then within scratch, I make src. All right, so now I'm in the sst scratch source directory, and I'm going to download boost. It's 59 megabytes. Not too bad with a fast connection. We're going to extract it using tar. Once that's done, we'll go into the boost directory and we'll run the uh, bootstrap sh script. We need to edit the project config.jam file and add the installation of MPI so that when we build boost, it uses MPI. So here, the bootstrap output is telling us that we're going to have to run b2, that command. But before we do that, we're going to edit the project config.jam to include using MPI. So that, that command I use sed to insert into the file. Alright, so now we're going to run b2 install as a command. And this will install uh, boost for us. Get started here on the next thing. While we're waiting for Boost to install, if you have any suggestions as to what other tutorial videos you'd like to see, please uh, leave your comments in the uh, YouTube comments field. For instance, if you're interested in seeing SST installed on Ubuntu, uh, just drop me a comment. Alright, so now that boost had just finished, you'll notice the time elapsed here. I let the boost run in the background. So now boost has been installed, and we're going to add a uh, variable called ld library path to the bash rc file, and this will uh, allow SST to know where boost lives. I'm going to do source again. Alright, so 
So now we've loaded that bash RC variable again. And then we're going to go back into the SST source directory. We were in boost. And we'll download the current version of the SST installer. Oop, that's not going to work. And we'll extract it. This is downloaded. to the SST simulator folder and run the autogen script. So here you can see the components it's referring to are the DRAM simulator, the M5 simulator which is for the CPU, and it's using libtools which we installed uh, through sudo yum. That's autogen finished, and now we're going to run the configure, and this tells where SST should be drawn from, and then the boost installation location. Once configure is done, we're going to run the make all command. Boost installation took about 30 minutes, and I'm going to let make all run for about 15 minutes. Alright, so if you look at the elapsed time here, the make all command just finished, and so now we're going to run make install. Alright, once make install has finished, we can check that the installation actually works by going into the SST directory. So now we are in bin. We can run dash SST dot X slash version dash dash version. So this is SST India Structural Simulation Toolkit version 2.2.1. Although there are other commands available in this directory, there are executables and uh, SST can't interact with them until we install a CPU simulator. So that's what I'll do next.